Hello everyone, this is Zahid from Inspire and Ignite and in this video I am going to present an interview with Nikhil who scored the All India 4th rank in GATE 2011 in Electronics and Communication Engineering paper. Actually the interview was very long so I divided into three parts. First two parts are dealing with the GATE preparation itself and the third part is exclusively about how to write GATE exam. So without taking much time, I'll directly introduce you Nikhil and his interview. Usually students ask me like what kind of students they rank very high in gate exam like they are very genius or something like that. Can you share your, uh, can you share your percentage in 10th class and 12th class and your CGPA in, in engineering? Actually one thing I, I want to say is that uh, the the genius of a person doesn't reflect much in his marks and yeah. even if he scores a nine point it, it doesn't mean he's very thorough in his uh, concepts and all <laughs> so uh, according to my percentages uh, i got uh, 96 in my 10 mm -hmm. and for in my plus 2 i was actually the state first time oh. i got 100 percentage <laughs> And you, you said uh, you have, in engineering you have uh, 9.83. Wow, it's all like everything is 90 plus. <laughs> <laughs> and and one more one more important thing about you is like uh, you cleared the gate with your engineering studies, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like when you were in final year, you you wrote the gate and you were uh, you cleared it, you cracked it, right? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so I have a, I have one question. Like in final year, students have there are a lot of things in their minds, right? Usually, like they'll be preparing for campus interviews, they are preparing for some other exams, they have uh, projects, seminar, and all those things. Like how you used to manage uh, time for these all these studies? Okay, uh, let me tell, uh, tell about uh, my case. In mm -hmm. our college, uh, the campus placements were during uh, the third year. Mm, that's so nice. Usually, usually it used to be in the third year, but in our case, uh, it was actually in the uh, seventh sem vacation. That is, uh, that December, just before the gate. That oh. was the time of, of campus placements. Uh, uh, during this uh, period and or it got shifted to that December. That is uh, 2010 December. Mm -hmm. So that that so, gave you uh, an advantage. Actually, yeah, but actually I had uh, attempted uh, gate previous. Uh, that was gate 2010. During mm -hmm. uh, in that I got rank 912. Nine? So it was kind of an uh, it, uh, my rank was 912 then. Oh, okay, 912. Nine. Okay, okay, okay. Get, so it was kind of an experience for me and uh, uh, during that year itself uh, I actually made a resolution that um, it will be my target. Uh, if I uh, if I won't clear GATE 2011 then I will repeat or something or otherwise I will stay in college itself and uh, with the help of teachers and I uh, will study and will uh, again appear for GATE 2012. Actually that was my aim in uh, third year itself. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in summer, actually, uh, I was not uh, sure about uh, what the placement date and all will be. And during uh, December, it came, uh, and actually, I decided to stay back in uh, at my home and study for it. Uh, because I, uh, I think that uh, that will be the last chance before appearing for it. Because uh, we had one month vacation during that December. Okay. That's nice. So I, I plan to stay back at home and uh, study for GATE. Okay. So you, you, you completely devoted one month for the GATE exam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't appear for a, a placement actually. You didn't appear for placement? No, 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 no. I didn't go. Oh. <laughs> that is, that is awesome. I, I I would like to know one one more thing from you. Like you said, like you if you don't crack, you, you, if if you wouldn't have cracked GATE 2011, you thought like you'll take full coaching for one year and then write the GATE again, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in in 2000 2010, do you have uh, have you taken any classroom coaching for GATE? 
or it's only self study uh, i didn't go to any coaching center and all but actually in my college there was one study group and mm. there were uh, teachers uh, for its leadership and what we did there was uh, we solve questions and uh, discuss our doubts among ourselves and if we had still some doubts then we approach teachers but uh, i was not that kind of focus during my third year preparation and that was evident in my rank also even though the question was so simple uh, i simply best fit up uh, that, that is late 2010 and mm-hmm. and when it was uh, i just uh, studied for some 2 3 days before uh, just before get 2010 and still managed to get 9 12 that actually yeah. boosted my course. so if i study for 2 days and uh, i can get this much then why can i pre- uh, prepare more uh, uh, i can devote more time uh, more focus so that i could get some That's good rank that yeah. is the thought to my mind this is really nice i want you to suggest to the students uh, like if someone couldn't get a good rank in 2011 gate uh so yeah. do you do you suggest them to go to coaching classes or self study would be enough for them uh one thing is that uh, in this uh, in this era of social networking and all I, i i don't know uh, how much they can concentrate if they prepare themselves so that is the, that's one main thing if they uh, if they plan to do self study then they should uh, devote uh, themselves and uh, and also uh, if 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 they are away from college environment then the opportunities for doubt clearance and all won't be there right yeah true so there won't be any professors at their availability and uh, things like that so considering such a case uh, i i think uh, they should go for coaching but in the other case uh, if they are so much confident that they can okay they can do Uh, themselves and uh, they can get help of teachers and all and uh, they could abstain from <laughs> the stuff like uh, or good facebook etc then i think uh, they can prepare at home yeah i think uh, you mean like it depends on person to person like if they are good enough to study back home then it's there is no need to go back to coaching right ah yeah yeah <laughs> I I have one important question now it's like uh, very common and it happened to many students too because you know like in en- in engineering we like one subject few subjects we like very much ah and uh, when preparing for the gate we spend more time on them like ah yes <laughs> yeah and you you neglect uh, i mean sometimes you don't give much time to the subjects you don't feel good about Yes, yes. <laughs> so what do you, what do you suggest about that I mean like how much time do you need to spend on the subjects you like and how to manage the time with the subjects you don't like I think uh, I can take that topic into two phases that is one before get and one after get So mm-hmm. before get uh, I think most of the students will be trying to get uh, through direct admission instead of going to uh, going to interviews and all because they won't be uh, it won't be that sure whether they will uh, get into they will clear interviews and all right mm-hmm. so considering the gate perspective uh, i think it's more about having knowledge about most of the uh, topics instead of focusing to one or two actually uh, in my case i was kind of uh, uh, have very interest uh, very high interest towards signal and systems and all so mm-hmm. initially i was kind of very focused and uh, towards in, uh, signal and systems only but during my initial practice test and all <laughs> if if you have questions from signals it's okay otherwise i would simply uh, miss, uh, miss the whole thing so mm-hmm. uh, actually there was my, uh, my teacher who advised me to take care of other subjects and also and, and after that Uh, there was some one time table according to which uh, i studied and all mm-hmm. so so is know, it like ask, uh, ask me, if it pardon yeah i i have uh, a related question about it i mean like uh, uh, is it like uh, make a list of the subjects who have more weightage in the gate 
and give more time to them and less time to the subjects which have less weightage is it a good strategy or what do you say about it but i, I don't think so because mm -hmm. uh, we can't predict uh, about uh, uh, the uh, questions uh, whether it is from the uh, so called less way, uh, weightage given portions mm -hmm. or not because we can't predict anything consider mm -hmm. the uh, 2011 design uh, itself Mm -hmm. it, it was kind of an easy uh, easy question paper and mm -hmm. there was no uh, no room for uh, uh, uh what to say predicting something from which subject it is yeah yeah uh, suppose uh, we skip one one uh, portion uh, which is seemingly uh, less relevant mm -hmm. but anyway it's given in uh, uh, get uh, what uh, get syllabus and all but we think okay it's not that relevant or something but suppose what happens uh, if a simple very simple question comes from that portion in gate mm -hmm. so we we may just have to skip that and the uh, the final course we may pay for that will be some very uh, some 100 ranks or 150 ranks or so mm, that is very and actually the competition is getting very tighter i was actually uh, thinking that uh, before uh, before appearing for gate 2011 uh, i considered the statistics of previous years mm -hmm. and in gate 2010 the first rank was 75 only yes yes sure. uh, it was 95 now. and yeah. uh, there were some statistics in uh, gate forum site or something like mm -hmm. if we get uh, some 70 plus then 1 to 25 is almost sure Mm. Then some 60 plus uh, above 100, uh, below 100, and yeah. things like that. But uh, so, but you, more, but you know, like hello? I, yeah, but uh, you know that statistics. I think uh, they uh, they were totally gone wrong during the year 2009 and 2010 because you know the question paper was easy and lot of students who scored like 80 plus, and it's it's like if you take 500 students. Top 500 students, it is like uh, around 60 marks or something like that, and uh, 60 plus marks. Uh -huh. But uh, I, I think uh, in GATE 2010, uh, 70 plus uh, was enough for, for one to reach in the top 25, right? Mm. GATEC. Yes, yes, true. True. The first rank was 75 also. 75. But in 2011, ah, yeah. it was a very different story. <laughs> yeah, I was actually uh, getting to that story. <laughs> yeah. So what happened was, I know stories of some people who actually became kind of uh, after uh, during eight two thousand eleven. They after attempting some seventy sixty plus questions, they are kind of expecting. Okay, I will uh, anyway. I am going going to reach within two hundred. So yeah. why should I? Uh, why should I attempt more and uh, perhaps I, I may be getting more negative also that I won't be getting even this much. So why should I take this? And there's one guy I know who okay. attended in such a way that uh, finally he got missed and uh, he was uh -huh. not able to perform up to his potential. So uh -huh. one thing is that uh, the statistics doesn't matter at all. Okay. This time the first rank was ninety one point three three. Yeah, and uh, I actually, you know, in on Inspire and Ignite, I wrote an article too about it. I mean, these statistics, you know, it happened like uh, there are a lot of rank predictors, rank estimators for Gate two thousand eleven. Uh, I. You would have read it like there are a lot of people commented upon it. I said it's it's impossible to predict a rank before until and unless the results are out. Oh, oh, just, oh. just, just you say like I get 50 marks. What is my rank? It's not possible to say what is your rank. Ah, yeah. I see so many comments like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I, I can you predict my rank? And yes. So it, it is uh, for, according to me and my analysis. I think it's not possible to predict a rank based on only based on marks. It also depends on yeah, the yeah. type of question paper you got during that year. If the question paper is tough, yeah, it's gonna so for it. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, can you say? So Hello? that's yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That, that's why I I wrote that post too. I mean, an inspiring line, and there was a lot of fight about it. So you 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 rightly <coughs> said about it. Like uh, it's it's not you cannot predict anything. You have to give your best in the exam. So yeah. now uh, I have. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I have, continue, continue. I have one more. I have I have few more questions related to gate preparation. Uh, is it enough to like yeah, uh, few few people one, one, like? Said uh, you t- you also uh, had told about that interview, right? That is, uh, how should we uh, our strategy if you if you are planning to go for interview? Mm-hmm. That is actually a different story. For example, in IAC, uh, uh, they will be giving some five options or something. That is, yes. most of them will be math. That is probability, uh, then linear algebra and. in such a case they have to they they surely have to concentrate on that subject itself but mm. it uh, pre get time so it doesn't matter right now yeah. it's time to concentrate on all the subjects instead of focusing into one or two and also like uh, for uh, now uh, i want to ask you about like uh, is it only enough to read standard books or is it also important to solve the previous year got gate question papers Of course, you have to solve the previous year question papers and uh, other model tests and something. Uh, mm-hmm. Actually, I, I, I had, uh, I, uh, of course, I, I solved all the previous year question papers, and also mm-hmm. I made use of RK Canodia. Mm-hmm. What is it? RK Canodia, you know? Oh, ah, yeah, RK yeah, Canodia. Okay. okay, okay, book, a, a book, right? For, ah, yeah, yeah. Then actually, uh, I prepared for a gate forum also, gate forum mm-hmm. target series, mm-hmm. and uh, I think uh, getting used to the gate pattern and is is, uh, very. Uh, they have to take as much as possible this practice test and all. Mm-hmm. One thing that uh, and, and initially, is initially, initially, mm-hmm. pardon? Yes, yes. I. Okay. Uh, So uh, suppose uh, I am going to attempt one question, mm-hmm. and if we if, if I am having some doubt about it, I was kind of hesitant to attempt that question. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, later, uh, by taking more and more practices, I was able to uh, kick that habit away, and mm-hmm. actually that uh, was very help- helpful during gate 2009 because the question paper was very easy. Mm-hmm. So. It was very critical that uh, we should attempt to uh, our best. So even if even if we skip one or two, that would uh, uh, that may cost very dearly, right? Mm, that's true. This was the first part of the interview from Nikhil, who scored All India fourth rank in Gate 2011, and uh, in Electronics and Communication Engineering paper. I hope you liked it, and uh, I would definitely. recommend you to go to the next video that uh, continue that is the continuation of this video and i hope this will definitely help you all